in Dublin Airport at Terminal 20 to 6 in the frickin' morning on our way to frickin' China. Whee! <laughs> Sorry, it was a bit high pitched for me. <coughs> so, uh, how are we feeling about China? Uh, super excited. Um, Some trepidation there, definitely. Yeah. I think it was similar to how we felt probably when we first were venturing to uh, Russia for the first time. You know, very, just really unknown, but like super exciting to be somewhere new and off the beaten track. And but I think definitely culturally, this is probably going to be the biggest step outside of our sort of you know safe European houses. Um, so uh, we just, just can't wait. Yeah, make some new fans, meet some new people, try some new food, and just uh, see some stuff. But we know so little about the entire trip. It's really, you know, it's all been organised by these wonderful people um, on the ground in China. So unlike other tours where we're quite hands-on and, you know, figuring out logistics and, and everything, you know, we're really just piling onto the plane here with a few guitars and hoping for the best when we get there. I think we're playing five dates. I thought we originally it was four, but one got added extra. Uh, it's the trip is ten days in total, so I think there's like there'll be a, a good bit of time off that we can hopefully do a bit of sightseeing. And uh, for the first time ever, we're going to be doing like internal flights as the travel between dates. So instead of you know being in a van the whole time, we're like playing a gig and then going to an airport to go to the next city, which is kind of weird. I think we're doing planes and trains Big and dogs. no autom- no automobiles. So you're moving up in the world, like business class next. <laughs> mm. only, only our sound man Andy gets business class at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the tour in the States was, yeah, really, really, really good. Um, <clears throat> kind of feels like our feet haven't touched the ground because we've only been, we've only probably just got over jet lag from that trip before we're now heading to China, but um, we were just chatting, it seemed to go really quickly, you know, it's, it was weird to have been suddenly at home, you know, cutting the grass for my mum, you know, whereas, you know, a few weeks ago we were in, you know, travelling around the States, so the whole thing was great, we had great turnouts and support for the shows and a couple of, like, you know, sellout shows in, like, New York and stuff, and um, obviously getting to hang out with, the, you know, a lot of the Sergeant House family was just amazing, a lot of the friends we'd made uh, earlier on in the year when we were at South By so it was just great to hook up with all those dudes again and you know play with a lot of those bands on their home turf and you know they showed us the sights and sounds and just generally the whole thing was yeah a bit of a dream tour you know. I've been dreaming about going to New York since I was a little kid and then to play a gig there as well and have people be at it and it be, I think it was pretty much sold out as well. We had an awesome after party as well. First time we'd ever, you know, sort of done an official after party anywhere and we had, uh, yeah, had a wild time definitely in New York. It was really good. Thank you very much.